Hey Best Pally, I'm Allie, and for the longest time I used the scale to tell me how to feel about my fitness progress. Wow, that sucks. If you're doing that right now, you gotta stop. And in this video, I will show you how a scale will just make you skinny fat. Now I know that term is icky, so let's use it on me. Here is where I was skinny fat trying to get the scale to go down, and this is what happened when I stopped looking at the scale. Note, I weigh the same in both of these photos. But there's obviously a difference, and that difference is called a recomposition. And that is the magic I'm here to get you to care about and explain why the scale does doesn't care about it. I'm also here to show you a tool that's better than your scale, but first we gotta get back to- what was that magical thing I mentioned? Body recomposition is an approach to fitness that emphasizes not only losing fat, but also gaining muscle. You want your body to be composed of the awesome hard stuff and get rid of the- bonus! The awesome hard stuff speeds up your metabolism so you can eat more and still stay lean, which is why you should not leave it out of the equation, but the scale leaves it out of the equation! You've probably heard that muscle weighs more than fat, so that means you could lose a bunch of fat and gain a bunch of muscle and feel awesome and look great and the scale will say you did nothing! Though most of the time the scale encourages us to do something so we lose fat but then also muscle and so our metabolism slows down so we need to eat less so then our metabolism slows down even more so then we gotta deprive ourselves even more and now we're skinny fat but the scale went down so hey you did something! Now before we go any further I have to do this I can sense some of you ladies giving me a through the screen. You don't want to add this focus on muscle because you don't want to get too bulky. I have been trying to get too bulky for years. Olympic lifting, power lifting, bodybuilding, and yet I am still just toned and lean and all the good pretty feminine adjectives. It is really hard for women to get bulky. To look like one of those CrossFit athletes, you'd have to train non-stop like them. Trust me, you're not gonna wake up one day and OH NO, I'VE TURNED INTO THE HALL! Lean and toned is just a woman that focuses on recomposition, and I'm hoping you'll give yourself permission to be that woman. Okay, now on to... You've probably noticed my wardrobe is a little different in this video. Of course I wasn't gonna tell you to just throw out your scale and stop tracking. As someone who's constantly covered in devices for this channel, that sounds terrifying. You can't improve what you can't track. And I love gamifying my fitness progress. Seeing my stats go in the right direction is really encouraging and keeps me dedicated. And so now I will be getting my stats from this Garment from the future! This is the Zozo suit. It scans your body in 3D so when your shape changes it knows you actually did something! And you can do this at home and you don't have to pay every time you do it and it doesn't give you cancer. Okay, that's a little extreme, but you may have seen in past videos, I used to get DEXA scans about every three months and to do that you have to pay a bunch of money and go to a facility and get radiated on! I didn't care about this for a long time, but then my doctor was like, you know, every three months is pretty often. And also, you need to get some radiation that isn't voluntary. A CT scan for my heart, if you're familiar with my channel, I have some cholesterol issues and then some triumphs with going vegan, but I digress. I define myself as someone who cares about longevity and really optimizes all aspects of my life, so why the heck am I getting more radiation than absolutely necessary? I'm not kidding, because of this definition of myself, I've never gone through one of those x-ray machines at the airport. I mean, it's probably not that bad for you, but why add more stressors to my already stressed body? So I always waste five of TSA's minutes making them pat me down. Realizing that, I take back my DEXA advice and also encourage you to get cozy with TSA. Now, let's see the Zozo suit in action. From the comfort of my own home, though I absolutely need to wear this out in public. Just gotta find the right occasion. I downloaded their Zozo Fit app. I'm sorry you didn't get an unboxing. I'm sure you were disappointed. It came out of this. Here, you get a post-boxing. Well, it's going to guide me through the scanning process by voice. Pop out the stand from your Zozofit box along the cutout. Oh, I need the box. See, you're already learning. Don't aggressive unbox like me because you need it. Place your phone on the stand provided with the screen facing you. Undergarments can be worn underneath the suit. Oops. Just kidding. Please remove any jewelry or accessories that may <laughs> snag the fabric. Check that your thumbs are in the finger holes and heels are in the stirrups. Duh, those are the best parts. Tie up loose hair to ensure all dots can Oops. be seen. We recommend scanning every few weeks to accurately track your progress. Every few weeks, that's awesome. I love seeing progress that much faster than three months. Okay, I'm supposed to be six feet from the phone. I am five feet. Excuse me, sir. And then one more foot. You are at a good distance. We are checking your arm pose now. Thanks, phone. Great. Hold the pose. It said I'm great. Turn right to two o'clock. I feel like a model. Turn to six o'clock. The booty shot. Turn to nine o'clock. This is my good side. No, get out of the way. Your scan has Texted. been successfully completed. Oh, thank goodness. That's so cool. It just talks me through it. It is processing. And now the results. Oh, I'm nervous. <gasps> Whoa. Ooh. 
Oh, cool. It shows me imbalances. Wow, my right arm is way bigger than my left. <gasps> you can rotate me? Oh, that's awesome. Look at the 3D me. Weird seeing what I look like in all of the dimensions and spinning me around. Hello, future Allie cutting in here because two days after I filmed this, Zozo Fit updated their app and now they show body fat. Ugh, that is next level. <sighs> and I did get some unnecessary radiation about a week ago so we can compare my DEXA scan to this and they are 0.5% apart. That is remarkable. And remarkabler when you realize that measurement came from my phone. The camera that I carry around in my pocket. It's crazy that they're basically dead on with the gold standard of body fat analysis. Okay, now, Back to past me. Oh, and don't miss the surprise cameo from Christine. So really the awesomeness is gonna happen when I keep scanning and see the changes happen. And it's cool to have a reminder for you so you don't forget. Progress and trends. Oh, I love a good graph. The body fat calculation has a graph too. Sorry for interrupting again. But I also didn't realize that you can drill down and see a graph of every measurement. Ugh, how big have my delts gotten? Don't skip calf day. Your hips don't lie because they're precisely calculated. Set goals. Ugh, I can't wait to scan more after I've transformed. Oh, and I can share. Ha! I'm gonna be putting these scans in Discord. All my Patreon pallies, get ready to see my body in 3D. And if you're not a new pally, you may remember I made a video about getting rid of your scale a long time ago, and I suggested instead getting a bioimpedance scale. Well, after having used one for a very long time, I realized that it is not that effective. The body fat readings that it gives me just go right along with my weight. I think they're kind of all BS. Well, since Future Alley is just invading this video, I want to tell you the story that I can't believe I forgot because experiencing it shook me. I went on a tour of a health club and at the end of it they said, we have an in-body, would you like a scan? That device is $9,000. It's basically the Elon Musk of one of those electrical scales you have at home. But it's big and impressive and you stand on it and you hold these two things and it's probably more accurate. Foreshadowing. So of course I said, yes, I want a scan but I wasn't prepared, so I had just chugged 32 ounces of water. Let me also mention, I had the same physique as right now, that's important. So the big impressive scanner, big impressive scanned me and said, I have 31% body fat and I should speak to my doctor about my obesity problem. To put this in context, this is what an average 30% body fat person looks like. So I said to the big impressive scanner, what, have you seen my Instagram? So yeah, I don't trust the cheap electrical scales you can buy at home because even the most expensive ones are suspect. Okay, now I'll stop interrupting. But getting your actual measurements is not BS. Also, this is not a new concept because measuring your body has been around since way before Arnold even. But to me, this is a new concept because I never did it. Ugh, who wants to get out a tape measure and then write it down and then not see it on a graph? Hello, do you like my outfit? I was thinking maybe we go to a nice dinner. Yeah, like you're on Star Trek or something. Yeah, isn't it cool? Haha! <laughs> Weird. How often do you measure yourself to see your body recomposition progress? I don't. I know, right? It sucks. Look at this, that's me. Weird, right? Mm -hmm. well, can you share? I can share. <laughs> oh, you mean, <laughs> she's like, <laughs> you didn't mean can I send you no, my number? can I borrow the suit? Yeah, I didn't sweat in it that much. I just did one bell kick. <laughs> What's in it though that makes it? The dots, the, the camera picks up the dots and it knows how big you are. Do you use a scale? Sometimes. I feel like I'm not good at it. I, I just, I don't think that's a really good measurement. Yeah, that's what the whole video is about. <laughs> and the scale, the bioimpedance scales that send electricity through you, I think they're garbage too. Oh yeah, they're totally off. Yeah. All the time. Even DEXA, like, oh, I'm gonna drink water and it's gonna be muscle. Ooh, I didn't even mention that earlier. Yeah, I can manipulate a DEXA scan to say I have a lot more muscle if I just have a little more water. Yeah, there's just so many moving parts. So just tell yourself you look bigger every year. <laughs> That's what I do. That's your, your, your tracking trick. <laughs> Just to You've you. definitely improved. There you go. Well, I'm <laughs> pumped to see my next scan and the next after, and also hers now. Let us know in the comments if you want a follow-up video after we've made some progress. Oh, so I can try this out? Yeah! Okay. Cool. I'm in. <laughs> and if you like this, you'll like seeing why the 8 Sleep Mattress is going to change your life. I'll put that down there for you. Hey Best Pally, I'm Allie, and I have reviewed countless products on my health and fitness channel over four years. And if you came to me and said, hey, what's the one product I should get today that will make the biggest difference in my health, fitness, and happiness? Hmm, that is a big ask. Yeah, and also no 